Hi, and welcome to the show. This is family friendly! Oh, my hair, I f And then I said, what, Chuck? Chuck is just stupid. <laughs> Thank you. That was me. I'm John. Bye. See you. Bye. Hello again and welcome to Streaming to John. Here are the news. Samsung made a new ad that mocks Apple. Again. We all know about the controversy that happened at the end of last year surrounding Apple's decision to slow down older iPhones in order to compensate for degrading batteries. Apple said it was sorry, but it was all meant to prevent unexpected shutdowns and then made it possible to get a new battery for $29, which was decent of them. Last Friday, however, Samsung released an ad for the Galaxy S9 and it didn't show how great the S9 is, but instead it showed how slow the iPhone 6 is because it has an old battery. Really? 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 Really, Samsung. Making fun of Apple because it was slowing down older phones to compensate for degrading batteries? Really? Did all you guys brainstorm this and decided it's a great idea? Maybe you should have used that energy to brainstorm about the Note 7 batteries and maybe, just maybe, make them not explode. <laughs> Uh, and then we show how slow is the old iPhone. <laughs> yeah, and then we show how fast is our new phone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we have a phone that used to explode? No. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, we suck. Yes, we do. Now, Samsung, I like your products, but this type of childish, stupid, and totally uncalled for ad campaign is not going to get you any Apple users switch to Samsung. Just focus on making the best product out there without mocking others. It's petty. Petty, 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 petty. Petty, petty. Petty, petty. HTC will make a blockchain powered phone. And speaking about companies that try to do their best without mocking anyone, Samsung, HTC announced they will make a new blockchain powered Android phone, giving it a universal wallet and hardware support for cryptocurrencies and decentralized apps. It will be called Exodus and will have support for Bitcoin, Ethereum and other major networks with more partnerships to come later on. And so many people thought that cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology will blow over soon. Guess they're here to stay. Just like my fat belly. The Exodus is the world's second blockchain smartphone, the first one being Fini, which was made by Sirin Labs and will be released in October this year at the price of $1,000. Ooh, not cheap. Not cheap, not cheap. These phones are set to offer better security by integrating cold wallet storage into the phone and enabling direct and simple crypto trading with smaller mining fees. We don't know the price of the Exodus yet, but it's reported you could buy one using cryptocurrency. So, depending on the time of the day you're buying it, it might cost $1,000 or 3 cents. Zuckerberg in front of the EU Parliament. Following up with the Cambridge Analytica scandal, Mark Zuckerberg, the lizard man that's in a serious relationship with your data, has come before the European Parliament in Brussels to answer questions regarding privacy concerns. How you will be remembered as one of the three big internet giants, together with Steve Jobs, I should say, and Bill Gates, who have enriched our world and our societies? Or on the other hand, in fact, a, a genius who created a digital monster that is destroying our democracies and our societies for the moment. Oh. But this time the questions didn't sound like they were asked by nursing home residents as it happened in the US Congress. Young men on the Facebook feed. What is the menu? Does it feed me or do I? Senator. Hmm? Well, who am I? But from people that really understand Facebook, the power it has and what's at stake. Did you say stake? Unfortunately, the format of the hearing, the one that Mark agreed upon, was like this. He made an opening statement, the EU representatives asked all the questions at once for about an hour, and then Mark 
answered the questions in seven minutes, basically repeating what he stated at the beginning of the hearing. And he didn't give any straight answers. And that was about it. He didn't answer any specific questions. He didn't answer about the GDPR, which by the way is active since now. All he did say is that he will answer the questions in writing at a later date. What? what, what? You didn't even get to answer the stupid questions you got from the US Senate last month. Hmm? Oh. What the f*** you doing? If you didn't answer, what the hell was the point of you meeting these people? Why didn't they just email you the questions? Why the hell would you fly 12 hours around the globe just to listen to them and they're not answering any questions? Why? Wait. I think I know. I think I know why. Mark didn't come to Brussels for the EU Parliament or the GDPR. No. He came for the Belgium waffles. There's no other explanation and it's the only one that I can agree to. Otherwise, this was a big waste of time. I I've been to Belgium and never wanted to leave. They had to drag me out of that country because those waffles are made by angels. I don't know what will come out of this hearing, but I hope it will be more than a chocolate hazelnut and honey covered warm waffle with melting vanilla ice cream on top. Uh, I need to get back to Belgium. I need, I need my waffles, man. I want waffles. This was the show, thanks again very much for watching, remember to subscribe, share this with your friends, Just give a like, I'm John, until next week, keep it safe and secure, cheers! Get that shit out of the Megan and Harry got married, it just reminded me that I'm married and if the prince made the same mistake, maybe I'm not so dumb after all. John, you didn't take out the trash, you goddamn useless piece of shit! Yeah. You're in for a treat, Harry. John! So nice! John! Coming!